人。Welcome to the Han Homestead. Today we are making applesauce. Good friends of ours gifted us uh, this Squeezo Strano, which really makes making applesauce a lot easier. So um, we used one of these last year, and and they had a surplus one. So uh, they gifted to us, which is really really awesome. I'm super excited to try it out. We've got I don't know maybe. 140 pounds of apples we got from our trees, uh, a few Asian pears. But I've only got uh, like 13 quart jars left uh, for canning jars. So we're gonna fill those up and then we've got apples left over. I think we're gonna freeze some of them for, you know, like making apple crisp and apple pie, that kind of stuff. And I might, I'm feeling adventurous, try some apple butter. We do have some smaller jars, um, but I have no idea how to make that, so we'll have to look it up. Anyway, applesauce, we're gonna start with these guys. One problem with our trees this year is they were a little bit buggy, so still trying to figure out the like organic spray schedule. Some of them weren't too bad. I can definitely tell that uh, towards the top of the trees, that's, that's where most of the bugs were, and then some trees it didn't seem to matter. There were some trees that there were a lot of really good apples down low and that's where it's like easy to spray. But anyway, so that's where we're gonna do so much applesauce because we can cut out the bad spots and uh, boil them down, throw them through the Squeezo Strano and uh, make some good old applesauce. So let's get slicing. So this thing has like a little corkscrew thing that just basically pushes all the fruit through the strainer and it's gonna jam all the like seeds, stems, peels and everything out the end and that'll go in this bucket and then the sauce and meat and stuff will come out this side. bowl is getting pretty full so I think we've done maybe I don't know 12 pounds got about eight pounds left kind of cooking and setting got 10 quart jars set up here uh, I taste test it could be just a little bit sweeter um, so there's some recipes I saw that asked for like up to a quarter cup per quart of sugar um, and I don't think we need to go that much. I might put a quarter cup in the whole thing. And this looks like it might be, it might be two jars, maybe three jars. And uh, uh, I'll put a little cinnamon in there as well. I'm really just making this stuff up. So I'll let you know how it tastes.
sweet. So that was about 20 pounds of apples. Looks like five uh, quarts and a little bit. You know, you get the rest of this variety done up and then we'll move on to these. I also found a few more quart jars, so should be able to estimate how many I need. Um, I'm probably going to have to run over town and get some. Like, I didn't want to do all these in applesauce, but I still I have enough that I could probably do 20 quarts and still do something else. Alright, time to bust through these 20 pounds, and then I'll catch back up with you when we start um, this here. Alright, 40, 45 pounds-ish makes uh, 11 quarts. A canner only fits 10 quarts, so I guess this one's going to have to wait for the next batch. Um, this, I think, is going to be for lunch. But, got to get these in the water bath. Uh, we're at like 2300 feet, so we're going to go 25 minutes. Um, yeah. That is a lot of work. I'm getting kind of pooped. some work stuff to do but turns out I got canceled so wasn't real productive the last like hour but uh, I did get everything kind of sorted these are uh, pink ladies I think so I bit into one and they're pink on the inside which is kind of cool um, and then I don't really remember what these are called I should look out on our map of the orchard but they taste pretty sweet. We're going to mix, I'm going to do, uh, it's about 20 pounds um, of this with a few Asian pears. We have one Asian pear tree that's produced all right this year. We did Asian pears mixed with the apples last year um, and it was pretty good. So we'll do that. Um, I think we'll go ahead and do two boxes of pink lady applesauce this box of pink ladies we're going to uh, make apple butter out of so I looked at uh, I don't know a blog thing and it said that these are a good variety to do apple butter so we'll try that and then maybe more applesauce there it's a lot of apples um, but anyway start uh, doing this batch now you know, there's a lot of action that happens in this process, so just cooked the apples that are on the island. And while those were cooking, I was cutting up apples and then pull those out of the pot, fill the pot back up while those are cooking. Now I'm going to be grinding up these apples. It's just like constant moving. at jars sterilizing in the water bath. While I'm filling these jars, that way when these jars are full, they can go in there and my next jars are sterilized. It's just go, go, go. I, I like it, but man, it's a lot of work. Some help 
Ainsley might be in here in a little bit. Yeah, she's and, uh, just doing some stuff. Okay. Um, and She'll be right in here. I was calling this a pink lady. It's definitely called a pink pearl. And almost this entire box is not them because you can see that these are not pink inside. I'm going to try to save the few pink ones I see um, aside and uh, we'll do something different with them. I'm not sure if pink pearls are what you use for apple butter or not, but we're just going to try it. So I think it'll be good. Anyway, back to boiling. Also going to have to start dinner here pretty soon, so it's going to get a little wild in here. Yeah, wild. Um, picked up another 12 jars. What are these? That is uh, applesauce. So this is um, brown sugar and cinnamon. Oh. Yep. And then these four here are Asian pear apple combo. All right. I think it's about time to start mashing those. A little bit longer. This is super hot, so. Uh -oh. Okay, while those cook, we can start these. Yeah. It's hot though, okay? Oh. Can I start doing it? Yep. Yep, we gotta go that way. Oh, wait, 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 no. We screwed up. Hang on. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Daddy. Oh, you're okay. We gotta get this thing on there. Why? That's funny. It's done. after we get all this type of apple done or when the bowl is full mm -hmm. and then decide do we need sugar in it or not. Since you're doing two jobs. Doing this and getting all the peeling out. Mm. See? Oh so yeah, yeah the, for sure the peeling is going out. Yeah. So this, so this, you see any skin in there? Yeah, because I bet you don't because it, all the skin is in there. Now we do we only turn it this way? Yeah. Yeah.
Got dinner done. Zucchini lasagna. Zucchini's from the garden. The tomato sauce is from the garden. There's eggs in it from our chickens. Pretty dang sweet. And then uh, doing those pink pearls as applesauce. And then this will be apple butter. Would you look at that? I think we made 23 jars. There's one in the fridge. And then six jars of uh, apple butter, which is delicious. I was definitely taste testing last night to make sure it's all good. I think I crawled into bed about 11.30. I had like a significant break for dinner and a couple other things. Still, that was a lot of work. I think we did maybe 120 pounds of apples. And uh, I got one box left over there that I'm going to um, slice and freeze at some point here in the next few days for like apple crisp, apple pie, that kind of stuff. Um, but pretty cool. If you got apples, you should do applesauce. It's like a pretty good alternative to syrup on your pancakes i freaking love it on pancakes i think you can like put it in stuff to bake or whatever it makes your baking like kind of moist and stuff i'm kind of learning all this so and it's just a good treat and then plus i know exactly what's in this applesauce you there's nothing like homemade applesauce as far as the taste um like you can't get this flavor from the store and i know it's not loaded with sugar and uh, it's pretty dang good. If you like uh, these videos where I'm struggling to make food, learning as I go, check out these other videos where we're preserving the food that we're growing here on our property. It's pretty sweet. All right, see you next time.